It's a warm, sunny day out, but you're just inside watching some TV. Everything seems all fine and dandy, until you hear a certain tune coming from outside. You quickly put some money in your pocket, run out, and come face to face with the ice cream truck that makes all your wishes come true. There's a pretty decent selection, of course, but only one item is on your mind. The legendary SpongeBob Popsicle, also known as the Spongesicle. Let's dive in further than we should to the history of this iconic frozen treat, considering it's one of the most well-known SpongeBob foods of all time. Time. In The Smoking Peanut, Patrick has a special sponge popsicle, and he makes it very clear how tasty it is. Who knew that just a year after this episode aired, the treat of everyone's dreams would finally become a reality? Thanks to copyright information, we know that the very first year these beauties were sold is 2002. It's around the time when everyone already knew the name SpongeBob SquarePants, and merchandise was exploding, so he'd appear on pretty much anything you could think of, including popsicles. One of the very early pieces of art surrounding the sponge is actually a special stick that's supposed to go on the ice cream trucks. The iconic sponge is all ready for the beach. He's got his rad sunglasses and outfit ready to go, but of course, the one thing he's missing is a delicious popsicle. Turning Spongebob into the street is exactly the sort of thing popular for a bunch of different fictional characters. Kids were always familiar with the cartoons and games or whatever the characters came from, meaning they would be more likely to buy and then devour, devour their, their heads. heads. Of course, every single popsicle is different in their own ways. When you take a bite out of Spongebob, you'll taste fruit punch and cotton candy ice with gumball eyes. The gumballs were large enough to be considered a choking hazard for children ages 3 and under, so that meant it was pretty much off limits. It's dangerous if you're not expecting to have some gumballs, that's for sure. But in terms of the actual design for the Spongebob, it's not what you would expect for a representation of his animated counterpart. You'll realize the tree takes on a minimalist design, and this was obvious because of the limitations presented to the company Popsicle. They couldn't exactly go all in and make a one-to-one -one copy of Spongebob, since more parts would mean more more chances for the final product to mess up. Instead of including everything, he's missing some stuff that defines his character. The pores, his eyelashes, and his tongue. You'll also realize that his suit is red instead of brown, which kinda makes sense when we think about the minimalist approach. Like I said, things were kept really simple. Having more than three different flavors in a single popsicle would be going overboard, especially with all the tastes fighting each other and you don't even know what you're eating. The red suit and tie matches well with his red mouth, and overall, this does still feel like Spongebob. Bob. You could tell they did their best to bring him into real life. May I help you? I'll take a banana split. Uh, we don't have that. That's okay. I already split my pants. Get it? <laughs> One of the nicest pieces of detail is the actual shape. Imagine how easy it would have been to make him just a normal square popsicle, but nope! They accurately included those little waves and curves on the side, which is directly inspired by his animated design. Now if I had to make a personal change, I would take out the gumballs and replace them with blue coloring. Not only would it seem more like Spongebob, but I honestly just don't think gumballs and ice cream are a good combo. The Spongesicles original wrapper showed the old Nickelodeon and Spongebob logo. We're greeted to this clip art version of Spongebob, welcoming us to the wonderful treat, but still never giving us a hint of what we're about to actually eat. Fast forward in time to 2010, and the wrapper was completely changed to this. Now we actually get a glimpse of what we'll be eating right there, but it's next to a smaller version of the real Spongebob. Ugh, does anyone else feel like this is overwhelming? So many different elements are close together. You got the company logo, the Nick logo, Spongebob logo, pictures, backgrounds, there's just so much happening. The previous wrapper may not have been entirely accurate since it didn't show the popsicle, but at least it was easy to look at. This just hurts. Ever since the Spongesicle hit shelves and ice cream trucks everywhere, fans have always experienced a similar question. Will their popsicles really turn out like they should? Yeah, this thing was infamous for messing up in the packaging, with gumballs in completely different places, or whatever this is. Sometimes, it seems like he was sent through a black hole right before you opened the wrapper, and voila, he has returned for your eating pleasure. Just be ready not to sleep at night. What's really special about these Spongesicles is that they've never faded away, thanks to the cartoon still airing new episodes today. And because everyone knows the glory of this frozen treat, a special set of figures were revealed in 2019. Created by Alpha Group, there are four different versions of the Spongesicle vinyl collectible. All of them are made to replicate that nostalgic feeling you'd get when you first pop open one of these bags boys on a hot summer day. I love how the package is exactly like what you'd find in the freezer. The attention to detail here is better than it should be. 2019 also revealed a special pin made by Zen Monkey Studios, which did its best to capture the feel you'd get after taking a bite. This isn't completely accurate because of Spongebob's pores and the fact that he has blue eyes instead of blue gumballs, but whatever, I'll let it slide. This was all in good fun, and of course to make some money off nostalgia, no doubt about that. While the Spongebob's popularity may have decreased over the years, the fact 
fact that it's still around in modern day is enough to make me smile. If the show keeps going, we are gonna keep seeing this, and its nightmarish designs will never be forgotten. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.